There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome to Touring Car Champions. Let's see what this has in store for me. A virtual sports interactive game produced by Taurus Games. And we're getting a bit of sound here. Oh yeah! We got ourselves a rock and riff. Touring Car Champions. Oh, FMV! Look at that! It's high octane racing at its finest. Okay, we'll skip that. And uh, can we can we get to a menu? Right. There's my support. That's cool. Um, let's have a look at the options. Controller is keyboard. Music and sound are low. Uh, we can calibrate the keyboard, but let's just let's just figure it out as we go along. Let's let's go for a practice lap. You are here. Uh, are are we the car in the front or are we the? Okay. Oh yes. So. This is fully fully FMV. Ah, right, right, right. It's it's got pre-rendered FMV sequences that speed up and slow down depending upon the speed of the car. Which you know, it, it was a different way of playing a racing game. And uh, it meant less less control over the car and track. Uh, compared to say Need for Speed or anything like that, but it also meant that like the visuals that you're seeing here, it's like an actual track. Sure, it's pixelated and there's graphics and stuff, uh, but y these are actual shots of the track in question. And you've got a sort of standard rock music beat there. That's quite that's quite fun. And the game that sort of did this the most, uh, probably the most successfully as well was a game called Mega Race by Cryo and uh, this is it's it's taking the whole Mega Race formula and uh, giving you a third perspective third person perspective of your car uh, it's it's okay it's it's playable I guess and uh, the the car itself it can swing wildly around like look at that whoa <laughs> so there's there's an illusion of of sort of freedom of motion here that's going on and you have to sort of prevent your car from uh, taking too many bumps and destroying I guess and the music has stopped oh well that's disappointing I was expecting a loop you know what I mean loop the music game don't just stop it in the middle of the, the track so now we've just got engine noise to talk over. Oh well. Um, there's two laps remaining of... Ow! <laughs> two laps remaining of the practice track. There's nice advertisement for Bridgestone tires. Now I wonder if you could actually do... Oh, were we meant to go that way? Yes, I guess. <laughs> That's another thing. The, uh, the track splits off. But if you're an intelligent individual, you can figure out which direction you're meant to go because they've got that track sort of sign on the left hand side, the little map which became very common in racing games throughout the uh, 80s and 90s. It's an interesting sort of experiment in terms of technolo technology, you know, I mean around the sort of mid to late 90s they really started pushing FMV as a thing you know, you weren't just playing a video game, there was like a ultra realistic video experience contained within the game so I'll do this last lap and then we'll just go to a quick race I think and see what it's like with actual opposition I don't appear to have destroyed my car which is nice I guess though I think it's a little worse for wear we don't, we don't appear to be going at any great speed. Ah, if you look at the... Uh, 
the, uh, the top left hand corner. There's a tires gauge. I think if uh, you smash it one too many times, your tires might go. I'm not sure that regenerates. I might be wrong. But I think I've got the basic gist of it. All of this is controlled by the arrow keys, by the way. Very, very easy. Very simple. So, we don't appear to be going at any great speed. Come on. We have one lap to go. Oh. Oh dear. We, uh, we've dropped right down here. I, I'm not entirely sure why. Have we reached... Have we reached a point where we can no longer continue? The point of no return. Gosh, this would not make an interesting video if I was doing that the whole time. I mean, you could stare at the pixelated FMV and be like, oh, isn't that pretty? But what happens if I do that? A aside from an extremely annoying sound. Ultra driving realism. Well, I think we can safely quit this. And, uh, okay. Nice little FMV of a car there. And the menu is not controlled by the keys, but the mouse cursor itself is. So we can go to quick race and uh, we'll just, yeah, race now, three laps. Okay, I'm slightly to the right hand side. I'm in last place, which is nice, I guess. And as you can see, my tires are much better now. So I can just, oh dear. Oh, look at that. Look at all the people taking over positions. Wow, I suck at this game. <laughs> there is auto gears by the looks of things. I'm in sixth at the minute. For some reason. And I'll just... Oh, look at that spin. We spun out there. Up into fifth for the hill, back into sixth. You know, maybe there is manual gears and I'm just doing it all wrong. But, you know, uh, th there's... Oh, we passed a guy. Excellent. Look at us go. Oh, look at us stop. Rather, crashed into the barrier. I mean... Uh, there's, a, there, there's only going to be a small number of people who'd be interested in this sort of game, I have to say. Yeah, pile up. Yep, that's how physics works. Like, even in the uh, the early 90s, they had sort of better games than this. You know, in terms of car racing. Th this, this strikes me as a bad idea. You know, somebody came up with this idea and thought, oh, it'd be cool to do this. And the execution is okay, but the, the actual concept and so on... You know, Mega Race had already done it. It doesn't really work for a sort of realistic kind of rally driving race. I don't know where this rally's based. But, I mean, look at that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bit silly. Especially in this day and age. Very silly. <laughs> and, again... The music has stopped, and I think I will too. So that is... There, we spin out again. Apparently that's the lose function, I'm not sure. In the race, you managed to place... To finish in place 10. Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll cancel that. And that's Touring Car Championship. It is... Sort of mega race, but for rally cars, and not as good. <laughs> so, if you've played Mega Race and you want more of that sort of FMV, sort of third-person style, then this does that. But for anybody else, I mean, it's not really worth playing anymore, is it? And if you like me talking about DOS games at random, I have done it hundreds of times. Feel free to take a look. All kinds of genres there on the channel. And if you like what you see there, feel free to hit subscribe. But I'm all raced out this week. Until next week.